study of computer programming aspects. Okay. For purposes of this discussion, a general scientist is a person trained in the scientific method and trained in watching one's own mind operate in correcting one's scientific as well as philosophical and pragmatic errors as a result of such observations. In a sense, general scientists who are willing to study more than just one narrow specialty in an attempt to grasp as much knowledge as they can under the circumstances from other fields than their own. General scientists have a grasp of symbolic logic and of mathematics that they apply to yeah, problems right. other than their scientific yeah, right. specialty. Hmm. Yeah, right. mm, look at that. Mm. 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 What are we? Are we the sum and substance of our experience, of our genetics, genetic inheritance, of our modeling of other humans, other animals and plants, or are we something more? As we chip away at this major question of existence of self, as mankind has chipped away at this question over the millennia, we find that this question and attempt to answer it lead to new understandings, new mathematics, new sciences, new points of view, and new human activities. If we attempt to conceive of ourself as having gone through another kind of evolution other than that of human, if we attempt to conceive of ourselves as having lived in an environment different from the social one that we have been exposed to, or if we attempt to imagine having evolved as an organism with the same or greater degree of intelligence in the sea or on a planet near the sun or farther from the sun, then we realize the essentially prejudiced nature of the self. Hmm. Our genetic code is a general purpose construction kit. Immortal genetic code. Schrodinger, Schrodinger said that the chromosome which contains the linear genetic code is a linear two-dimensional solid. Along its length it has a great strength and yet it is a flexible chain that can move and be split down the middle during mitosis. There are carriers of the orders for our ultimate structure as an integral adult. Their essential immortality is, be is being expressed from one individual to the next in creating the next individual in line and must be included in any theory of the operation of our mind. It may be that our individual unique basic beliefs can be found by careful correlations between our essentially unique genetic maps and our thinking limits. It may be that the kinds and levels of thinking of which each of us is capable are essentially determined by our genes. It may be that our private languages are genetically determined. Even if there is genetic determinism operating in our thinking machines, we are far from specifying the levels of abstraction and the cognitional and theoretical entities that are genetically controlled. Hmm. Collaboration. Genetic determinism, wasting genius, theory. Each mammalian brain functions as a computer with properties, programs, and metaprograms 
partly de to be defined and partly to be determined by observation. The human computer contains at least 13 billion active elements and hence is functionally and structurally larger than any artificially built computer of the present era. This human computer has the properties of modern artificial computers of large size plus additional ones not yet achieved in the non-biological machines. This human computer has stored program properties and stored metaprogram properties as well. Among other known properties of our self-programming and self-metaprogramming, programming codes and metaprogramming languages are different for each human depending upon the developmental, experimental, genetic, educational, accidental, and self-chosen variables, elements, and values. Basically, the verbal forms are those of the native language of the individual, modulated by nonverbal language elements acquired in the same epochs of his development. Each such computer has scales of self-measuration and self-evaluation. Constant and continuous computations are being done, giving aim and goal distance estimates of external reality performances and internal reality achievements. Each mammalian brain functions as a computer. Basic assumptions. Schema of programs, levels, three levels. Programs, new, modifiable, old, fixed, built-in, places, neocortex, paleocortex, subcortex, perform, permanence, lifelong acquisition, inherited genetic code, creatability of programs, general purpose computer, stored programs, system and storage, Afferent inflow, efferent outflow, a program in progress, positive system, negative system, cortical storage, data, new, current, older, inherited, place, schema of programs, self-metaprogramming, the mind is the software of the biocomputer.